In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out and create tissue paper windows in our lantern. So this is going to be a two-part tutorial, so we're just going to learn those two steps first. So um, the first thing I want you to do before you do anything else is write your name and your class code on this line, okay? So go ahead and write them nice and bold. So whatever your class code is. So I'm pretending that I have a kid named Christina C and I am in 3FB. And please write nice and bold and dark so that it shows up. Then I want you to think about the little mini lesson that we did on color schemes. We talked about warm colors, cool colors, complementary colors, and analogous colors. So I want you to decide what kind of color scheme you wanna do. So I have decided as a student that I am gonna do a complementary color scheme. So I've x that off nice and bold. And my color scheme, because it's complementary, remember that's across, I am going to pick a green lantern and I'm going to go across to red and I'm gonna make windows that are either red or pink or a combination of the two. So now that I have my name, my class code, and my, um, my color scheme decided, you're going to start cutting out. So if you look at the corner of the template, there's a little key. For the bold black line, you're going to cut and for the skinny black line, you're going to fold. And for the dot, you're going to punch holes. And sorry, that's cut off there a little bit. So you're going to start out when you're cutting only on the bold black line. And when you cut, sometimes kids ask, do I cut on the inside, the outside? Cut right on the middle of that line. Now you're going to have to kind of rotate your paper throughout this. Um, and just really take your time, especially when you're going around the curves. Um, it might also help you to break piece, pieces off occasionally and just put them aside. Um, but one thing I'm gonna show you is when we are cutting out the windows, because this can be something that some of my friends find a little bit tricky. So when this is all cut out, the um, perimeter of it's cut out, and you have also cut on this line here, which is gonna allow these to be folds. Notice I stopped here. I didn't keep going on the skinny line. Um, I'm then gonna to wanna to cut out my windows. So these I've already cut out, and this is already cut out. I'm gonna show you the trick for cutting out inside of a circle. So I'm going to fold this in half and pinch it like that. And now I have this little opening and I am going to cut in the middle of the black line and I'm going to turn my paper in a circle while I do this. Now, if this is tricky for you in third or fourth grade, that's totally okay, but that means that this is probably a good project for you to be working on so that we can work on those cutting skills. So if it's a little tricky for you or a little frustrating, you know, no worries, but this is a great opportunity for us to practice, okay? Now I am all ready for my um, little windows, okay? So like I said before, my color scheme that I had chosen was complementary. So that's across from each other on the color wheels. I picked green and red. Now a tint of red can also be pink. So I've grabbed some red and pink um, tissue paper. Now you can choose whether you'd like a solid color window. And if you want to do that, you're going to grab a tissue paper window template that I have. Um, now, if you want to do different color windows, like let's say one pink, one red, one pink, one red, you can put it on here and trace it with a pencil. But if you're doing more than one window in that color, a smart thing to, be, to do would be to get a larger piece of tissue paper, not the whole thing, but you know, pretty big, fold it in half, 
and then cut, I mean, I'm sorry, then trace through one piece. You can do that in separate pieces like this. So I'm holding the center while I'm tracing, okay? Take your time if you slip a little, that's okay. Then pick it up, make sure the whole thing is traced nicely, and then you can cut through two layers. Okay, now sometimes cutting through two layers can be a little tricky. So what you wanna do is sort of work your fingers on the area close to where you're cutting because that way your paper doesn't separate. And this sort of really delicate tissue paper is really easy to cut through because it's skinny, but it also tight, likes to move around a little bit on me. So I'm rotating my paper. Okay, so the window template that I use is a little bit bigger than the actual window. And I'll show you how we're going to be attaching that in just a second. Okay, now, if I were making my window templates and all of a sudden it was time to clean up, all that I would do was just grab a paper clip and I would paper clip all my windows and everything to um, my lantern pattern so that I could work on it next time and I don't have to worry about them getting lost. So don't feel stressed like, oh no, I didn't get it on yet. So what you're gonna do now is flip over your paper and um, you're gonna take a glue stick and let's see, work it up just a little bit and put a generous amount of glue just around the oval like this. Make sure it's nice and even before you press it down. Okay, notice I'm putting it on the back side so that these little sloppy edges aren't showing. And when I flip it over, it's nice and clean. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the multicolor one. So what you'll do is get a few pieces of tissue paper and just rip them into little strips. Now instead of doing the whole oval in one, um, you know, continuous little <laughs> swipe like we did before, just do the first half because while you're doing this, it may dry out a little bit, okay? So you wanna fit your strips to be about a little bit bigger than the oval, but like this is very big, so I would just rip a little edge off, okay? Now as I'm attaching them, oops, I forgot to do something really important. Let me pop this off. I'm gonna do the sides. I'm also going to put a little glue on the one before so that the pink sticks to the red. So now I'm gonna get a little more glue on here, do the bottom of the pink, and now I'm gonna do dark red. So this is sort of a tone of red. And again, I'm seeing that this is a little big. So I'm gonna rip a little extra off, okay? So you're gonna get these sort of, they're called deckled edges. Deckled means ripped. And um, that can be really pretty. Um, it can create different kinds of like, um, like little effects and textures and things. So, you know, don't feel like everything always has to be, you know, all perfectly cleanly cut. Um, save that for when you're cutting your lantern out. This part, let it be a little bit more organic. All right, so now that I have that all attached, you can see when I flip it over, I have those nice stripes in there and this is gonna diffuse the light beautifully. So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add some decorative elements on here, some different options, and how to fold it up. Have fun with the first two steps.